I'm going to be sharing a couple of tips and tricks for uploading videos to YouTube. A couple of people have asked me. Some people have iPhones, some people have Samsung, everybody has different uh, types of cell phones or iPads that they are using. And I use a Samsung phone to do my videos, so I don't even use an iPad or a computer, but there is some basics that work for everything, whatever provider you're using to upload videos. I know iPhones, a lot of people use Movie Maker. There's a lot of different programs you could use to edit your videos and upload. When you're uploading your video, this is the main YouTube screen right here. In the upper left corner, there is a button. You're going to click on that on the left. And you're going to see it has a lot of things you can choose. The next thing you're going to choose is my channel. And as you can see, this is like my main page. The next thing that I'm going to go to is the video manager. And this will bring up all the videos uh, that I have done now. When you're uploading a video, now I just uploaded a video yesterday, so I'm going to go and I'm going to hit the edit button. Now, as you can see, when you do a video, when, when it uploads, it always picks three pictures somewhere in your video. And it's going to use one of those pictures as your front picture for your video. Now, what I do most of the time is there's a, there's a box right here. And it always says, edit your picture. You could upload your own picture. So you would click this box. And then you would upload a picture from your cell phone or iPad or whatever photo you want to use as your first picture over here. The trick to this is that picture has to be under 2 megabytes. So when you're uploading that picture, you want to check your picture details to see how many megabytes it is. It has to be under 2 megabytes to upload that picture. And that is the picture that is going to be your front picture. I know a lot of people post their videos and their mouth is hanging open or it's a, a picture they really don't like. And that's how you put up a picture that you would like. Uh, down here, uh, you have a list that you could add all of your uh, floss tube videos to. It's just a description, and people could go to your playlist. That's a playlist, and you could add it to your floss tube list. Over here is where you could put, like I put cross stitch, floss tube, garden, just things about what's in that video. So if somebody's searching, uh, that would come up. Over in this box is where you would put, this is your first box that shows up, what's going to be in the video over here. And then down in here is where you put your links for other websites or floss tubers or whatever you want. It could be for anything. It doesn't have to be for stitching. It could be any type of video. And over here, when you're uploading your video, Give me one second. Over here, there is a button. See how it says public? So when I upload my videos, I have it always set to private first. The video uploads, I make sure that everything is fine and I have every, all the descriptions in here. And then when I'm ready, I drop the down list and I choose public and then it'll post that video. So that is just a couple of tips and tricks to help you when uploading your video. I hope that helps you. Somebody had asked me, and I'm just doing this real quick video to give them a couple of tips. Um, I know Video Maker, definitely there's a lot of uh, videos you can watch on how to edit and upload your videos. I really don't do a whole lot of editing in my videos. When I'm taping my uh, video. I don't edit any of that. I add pictures and a slideshow at the end. That's basically what I do to my videos. I don't want to spend all day editing my videos. So it usually only takes me 10 to 15 minutes to 
edit my videos and upload the videos. I hope that helps somebody. Everybody have a great day and happy stitching.